don't you guys miss the good morning guys thingy about Bobby that I used to do but it's never morning when I say hi to you guys anymore. I am going to include some clips from school. Um, today I did a couple that I just did on my phone so I will include those right here. That was just a couple of clips of like me writing the objective on the board, um, me wiping the board because I do that every morning and I write the objective every morning on the board. And then it was just pretty cool with the um, music kind of when I was taking the F train and I got off the stop at Herald Square to go to Penn Station and they had like this whole group of people playing music so it was really cool. On another note, my hair is getting so long guys. I don't know how it got this long and somebody commented today like asked me if my hair is green. It's not green. I, well, one of my students commented her hair is actually green. That one student has some parts of her hair dyed green. Um, but anyway, so my hair is getting pretty long. I'm really happy like who, how far it's come. I do need a little trim. I do have some minor split ends at the end already again. But my hair has been growing really well. Um, I think it's been doing really good so far. Anyway, I just want to show you guys my outfit. I was about to change and I was like, hmm, I should show them my outfit. So I'm just wearing like this dress. I think this looks very fall-y with the colors and everything. I mean, there's like oranges, peach colors, browns, and like a light blue. I think it's super cute. The sleeves, as you guys can see, are like really big. I felt like a bird all day today. <laughs> but, um, it was good. And then I just paired it with like this brown belt. I did wear brown boots. So you just can't see them because I always show you guys my outfit when I get back upstairs. And then I wore some navy leggings because I thought it went well with all the browns. I wear like navies with the browns and stuff like that. Sometimes I wear like off-white. But the ones that I ordered from Amazon that I showed you guys, these are a little big and they're a size medium. So I'm going to order another pair in a size small. And these ones are now pajama pants because they just look too big. Everyone loved my carrot pecan cookies at school today and when I heated up my curry everyone's like what do you have for lunch and they're like you need to just make lunch for all of us one day and I was like well let's pick a day and I can make lunch for everybody and I think I don't know even how I would do that like how would I bring a crock pot to school um, I don't I don't know how that would happen at all to be honest it just seems like a lot like it makes sense to cook the food at school maybe and by lunchtime it would be ready and just throw it in a crock pot but at the same time how is a crock pot getting to school in the first place so that part is just a little complicated and stuff I, i'm sure they were kidding but i know all the time they're always like what are you eating for lunch and how do i have time to make all these lunches and things like that and it's called meal prepping guys meal prepping so i'm happy that like you know people are just like wow um by that that makes me happy on another note but anyway yeah so i have some more lunches my three other lunches for the week i have one more thing of this yogurt i'm not loving the vanilla yogurt in here so i did have to get vanilla yogurt this time like a regular actual dairy yogurt and i don't love it it's more liquidy it's sweet and i don't need that sweetness it's just because that my store here unless i go out to fairway which is like a 25 minute drive from my house that's where i normally get my coconut yogurt but all the other grocery stores around me the three that i know of have no coconut yogurt and i really wanted it but i couldn't get my hands on it this week so i i bought like a regular vanilla yogurt at the store and it's just like too sweet it's liquidy it's a little chunky at the same time if that even makes sense it probably doesn't but that's like how the yogurt is 
Um, so I do miss my coconut yogurt and I'll try and get some again next time. I'm gonna have to buy like three boxes or four boxes of it. Last time I bought two and one box only lasts me one week because I mean it's enough for like two scoops per cup of like two ice cream scoops per like my little packaging thing for five days and three if it's for four days. So it's just like, you know, I'm gonna have to stock up more. Now that I know that I could use like one for like one whole entire week, I should just buy like four for like the whole entire month next time. And they do last a while, they last quite a bit, so I could definitely have it in the fridge for like a month or so. But we'll have to see that and test that out next time. Okay guys, so I was in charge of buying folders for this week. I needed to get five like bright colored folders, but for the purpose that we're using it, I'm thinking, you know, a little thingy that I could create will work as well. So I made these little like pocket library kind of folders, but it's still like a pocket thing, kind of like a folder. So um, we could put like a note in here or whatever. And I'm gonna try and laminate them and then just cut like this piece out so you could still stick something inside and I'm putting like the teacher's names on it. I hope this will work. I'm really hoping it will work because I don't feel like buying folders. Ugh, for something that I could like simply make and make even cuter and just handmade and whatever, like I totally wanna do that over just buying some plastic folders. So I'm trying to make this work. Okay guys, I think this worked out so well and I'm so happy with it. I'm not gonna show you guys like the names and stuff, but here's like an idea of what one of the pockets looks like. I cut um, the laminate after I laminated it just through one piece so that, you know, it could still be like a pocket. And then I just made like a cardstock thing in here so the teacher could write a note in here, um, either on a sticky note and just put it in so the student like doesn't see what it says and you know the teacher could read it or whatever so this is kind of like for students if they need a break in the classroom we will send like a note to like another teacher saying like i need a pencil or something just something like so silly like that so we know what's happening so we thought of this plan today um here's another one in like a teal color another one in green another one in orange and then another one in pink. I really just needed five of these for the five content teachers for sixth grade. Um, I don't get one <coughs> and the other learning specialists don't get one. It's just, um, you know, for the content teachers because they, they're the ones that actually have the classrooms. So I think it looks so cute, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with how they turned out and I hope that they like it tomorrow um, because I know I was supposed to get folders, but this is just so much cuter and I got to like hand make it and stuff and I haven't done like crafty stuff in a while. So this was very exciting for me and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Okay, guys, don't mind that spot under my nose. It's that cold sore that I have. So I have um, the Virax cream on there. I also realized that I've been taking the incorrect amount of dosage with my pills. I took two um, thinking that, you know, it would be two grams. So I keep thinking that I was taking two grams total, but I was actually only taking one gram at a time. So today I have to take four. That's why it's got worse. It didn't get better. No wonder, because normally when you take the two grams, it like prevents normally any kind of growth further and it starts clearing up or not clearing up, but it doesn't blister out as much and well, I messed up. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah, I just asked my friend. She says um, hers, she takes two grams. So I gotta take four today because mine are only 500 milligrams each. All right guys, time for bed. Had some soup as my late night dinner, I guess. Um, I'm excited to give everybody like their little pocket cards tomorrow and hopefully that's fine enough and I don't have to get folders. And I think they're just so much cuter and made with love. Anyway guys, I got Kuba home now. He came back from my sister's house. Right, Mr. Kuba? Yeah! My mom and Kuba were at my sister's house. So, And then my mom's car broke down on the way home. So that was a thing. Um, but it turned out it was just her battery and then some nice like couple with a 10 month old daughter stopped and recharged my mom's battery and like jump started it or whatever. So then my mom got home and she brought me my Mr. Lovely Kuba. Alright guys, anyway, time to go to bed. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please click that red subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's next daily vlog. Bye!